So what do you want to do tonight? I was thinking we could go around in circles for a while about what our plans should be. Yeah, um, we should waste at least 15 minutes being indecisive. I think it's really important that the phrase, I'll do whatever you want to do, is said by each of us at least five times. It's a little much. How about three times? Okay, you'll say it three times. I'll say it five times. Okay, deal. We just need to say it enough times to show each other that we're flexible. Yeah, because we wouldn't want to actually make a decision and show that we have strong personalities or unique character traits or anything. No, that'd be ridiculous. Let's try to seem nice and accommodating. Well, how about we end up choosing to go see a movie? And the movie we'll finally decide upon will be something that only I want to see. Because you'll whine in that really cute way about how Katherine Heigl is your power animal. And you'll agree to watch it because you'll think that if you sit through a lame chick flick, you might get some ass later. All right, I'm not only interested in you for sex. I like you for other reasons. But, I mean, yeah, I will be really sweet to you all night so you'll feel obligated to get me off. I'll feel this strange sense of guilt if I don't put your dick in my mouth, and I won't want you to think I'm a prude. And I'll want to prove that I'm a man by getting you off, so I'm gonna be touching you pretty aggressively. And I'll push your hands away because you'll be too rough and I'll feel awkward about giving directions. And you won't do that because then I would feel emasculated and that would ruin it. But I'll just assume that you're frigid or something because you won't be able to come. And I'll like getting head, but I don't know, I'll feel differently afterwards and I won't be as interested in seeing you anymore. Then how about you don't call for a while and I ask my friends for advice about my next move with you? Oh, that sounds great. And then I'll call you one day when I'm feeling lonely or something and we'll get coffee and you'll be sitting there smiling looking all cute and I'll remember why I liked you so much in the first place. I'll talk too much because I'll be nervous, you'll lose interest again, and I'll try way too hard. I'll start imagining my entire life with you. I'll think about how much my mom would love you. And, and when you talk about your family, that makes me think of meeting them, which makes me think that this whole thing is moving way too fast. And I'll think about my ex-girlfriend that broke my heart in college and how I do not want that to happen again. I'll think of the boyfriend who broke my heart in college and compare him to you. I'll think about how I want to change you. I'll think about what you'd be like if you were just a little bit different. And then you'll say something really funny and I'll think you're perfect just the way you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I will think, wow, you have the exact same laugh as my ex-girlfriend. We'll part ways. I'll kiss you on the lips without thinking about it. I'll totally overanalyze the kiss. Hey, wait, you know what we should do? We should drunkenly have sex. How about you call me at like 2 a.m. some random weekend to come over and fuck me? Yeah, no, 2 a.m. works. Let's do that a lot, maybe every other weekend for like two and a half, three months, just to make it a routine. And all the while we can be developing really strong feelings for each other. Yeah, but we're gonna lie about the feelings and say we don't want anything serious, right? Of course. Get this, how about one night the condom breaks and we get really scared and then we somehow feel really connected once we realize I'm not pregnant? Yeah, I, I think it'd be really cool if I got totally freaked out about how close I just came to ruining my life mm. and I'll distance myself from you. I'm gonna become, you know, busy. Let's move on and repeat this experience over and over again with new people. I'll find a guy who's not too much different from you. I'll find a girl that's just like you. He won't be as good as you, but since things didn't work out with us, I'll just pretend that he's amazing and you were awful. Could we bump into each other at the movies with our new casual sex partners we're kind of dating, but not really? Could it be another one of those silly chick flicks, just so we can come full circle? It's a really nice touch, the whole full circle thing. But I think that eventually we should just forget about each other so it'll be as if none of this ever happened. Yeah, that sounds good. So what do you want to do tonight? I'll do whatever you want to do.